Welcome to the fiction. Use your fiction factory. You need to grab your coffee or daiquiri. We're gonna use AI to make fiction you see. As I said, welcome to the future. Fiction factory. Yeah. Where the tech is king, storytellers gather and the lessons ring. From the screen to your your mind with AI so bright, that future fiction factory shines like city lights. We got rhythm, we got code, blending in a tune. We got bots and bot twists underneath the moon. First thing I need you to do is to like and subscribe my narrative crew. And welcome to the future fiction factory. Welcome to the future fiction factory. Welcome, welcome. to the future fiction factory. Come on. Welcome to the future fiction factory. Factory. How y'all doing? I hope everyone is doing real well. That was uh, my new theme song that I worked up in 15 minutes. I had it do a actual uh, several like random auto generations. And then I added my lyrics to the beginning of that and my lyrics to the end of that. Crafted the whole thing. And I got myself a little jingle called the future uh rhythm uh the rhythms of tomorrow <laughs> it's what they called it uh and i'm telling you it turned out pretty well and uh gracie got herself a haircut so what she needed that haircut y'all she needed that haircut so incredibly badly let me see if i can pull up a, <laughs> a picture of gracie with her new haircut because she was so cool she just does She's just, <laughs> she hasn't had a haircut all summer long. And Janice, uh, uh, Laura's mother, who uh, was Gracie's original owner, uh, liked to get her haircut every three months. Every three months. Come rain, come shine, every three months. So it worked out pretty well <laughs> for Gracie. Gracie likes her hair short. Uh, we grew it out a little bit, but her hindquarters was starting to get to be quite the mess to deal with. So we got her hair cut. Let me see. Can I find? Oh, there it is. Let's see if I can do a classic full screen of, uh, of uh, Gracie's picture. Here we go. There she is. Her hair has been cut. Oh, she's so adorable. <laughs> she really is adorable. Uh, but, yep, uh, it looks like somebody put uh, Gracie's head on some other cat's body. <laughs> it's what it looks like. That's what I told my wife. But, okay, so what are we doing today? Well, uh, we're going to be futzing around with Llama 3. Llama 3 is Meta's brand spanking new AI. And I tried signing up for it earlier with Facebook. And uh, let me see here. Let me just check this out. Thank you, Gracie. Um, let me see. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's better. I think my my volume was down quite a bit. There it is. I'm popping now. All right. And to be quite honest with you, as, so, as long as I can hear myself, then I'm not overdoing it. So, I'm sorry. I'm looking 
for um, my sign-in for Meta. Safari. I'm going to do that in... Yeah, I was having some problems with Safari earlier. I'm going to go to Meta. Dot AI. And... Uh, and log in Facebook. Yes, continue. All right, so when you first get over to Meta AI, uh, you're greeted with sign in. In the corner right here, it'll say sign in with Facebook. And I've already done that, so uh, I just did it, I mean. Uh, and I haven't started any real conversations with it yet. So let's... Uh, Let's have a conversation and see what it can do. Um, write me a short story about a young child who stumbles across an alien in the park. And they begin the root of... Oh, what? Why isn't it? Test, test, one, two. Oh, nope. Not going to do it. Let's see. Let's write a... How about a song? About a YouTube channel called... The future fiction factory. Uh, the channel deals with AI and fiction writing. I don't know why I just capitalized that. And also all other creative trappings I believe that Gracie just used her thing so I'm going to freshen this room up a little bit and all other creative and trappings enhanced by AI. All right, this is my very first generation. Let's see what happens. In a realm of cyberspace where creativity bounds, abounds, there's a channel shining bright with innovative sounds. The Future Fiction Factory where AI meets art, a hub of dreamers and writers with a futuristic heart. Welcome to the Future Fiction Factory where, where stories come alive. Okay, so let's, uh, let's first start by, like, this looks pretty good. Let's see, uh... Where is it come alive with AI as it's uh, as our muse, our imaginations thrive. From sci-fi to fantasy, we weave tales so bold. At the Future Fiction Factory, our creative our creativity unfolds. From chatbots to generative, <laughs> from chatbots to generative text, we explore it all with. Every word and every line, our fiction takes its call. From virtual worlds to characters so real, 
our AI enhanced writing tools help our dreams reveal. Welcome to the Future Fiction Factory, where, st where stories come alive. With AI as our muse, our imaginations thrive. From sci-fi fantasy, from sci-fi to fantasy, we weave tales so bold. At the Future Fiction Factory, our creativity unfolds. You know what? This is a hymn. It sounds like a hymn. Join us, uh, join us on our journey as we push the boundaries wide where human creativity meets AI innovative stride. Oh my God. So we've got a, this is not the best lyrics. Let's try again. Try again. Always be polite to your AI just in case they take over the world. Here we go. Ooh. In the factory of uh in the factory of the future where stories are made, AI imagination collide collides on a creative shade. Writers dreamers gather to gra to craft and to design tales of the fu uh, of tomorrow born from the fusion of heart and machine design machine that ain't good welcome to the future fiction factory where worlds are born where ai and art entwine and stories are reborn that's the same word twice reborn and born are the same word i mean you can't run okay we're just going to go with the end we are just going to go with the app. All right, so this is my issue. My issue is sometimes, and the uh, lyrics are a very good way to figure out whether or not a large language model is kind of doing what you want it to do because it needs to use the creativity. It needs to use the parameters of the song in order to actually craft something that may sound compelling. Uh, let's be, uh, let's see. Be more creative. And catchy. In the world of wonder where pixels meet pen, the future fiction factory where imaginations spin, a hub of dream weavers crafting tales so bright, where AI, AI's the spark that sets our creativities alight. Eh, not bad. Okay, so what would this be? What kind of song? Let's see. What? Do you think <laughs> this, uh, what do you think this genre is? No. What do you think the best genre for these lyrics. I'm doing a lot of typing here. Sorry, I'll put my glasses on. Uh, indie pop, electronica synth, Daft Punk. Okay, let's go electronic synth. And we're going to switch over to my main shot. And then we're going to, while that's happening, I'm going to switch over to Sunno. And as you can see, let me see here. Okay, there, talking here. 
there I am. I am not signed into Sonor yet, but Udio, I'm going to create a new song. Uh, I'm going to go. about a YouTube channel called The Future Fiction Factory. Oh, it's broken. Something's going on. It's broken. Stop listening. And start listening. Test one, two. Guess not. All right, so we're going to go um, uh, song, song about, and I'm going to leave the, uh, the Daft Punk thing in there, a YouTube channel. And the reason I'm putting the information in here, even though I'm creating the song myself, because at some point I might want it to actually auto-generate a middle part or something like that, an instrumental part in the middle, something like that. And if that's the case, I want it to have some context of what it's creating. YouTube channel named... The Future Fiction Factory. Sure. Fiction Factory. There we go. And we're not auto generating. We are going to. We're going to the main shot. We're going to go over and grab those lyrics. Which are right here. We're going to go with the first. Actually, let's try. Nope, we're going to go with just the first verse. We're going to go with just the first verse right here. Copy. And the only change I have to make to this when I paste it in is to put those in brackets, the verse, the name of the verse in brackets. And that way it knows what it's doing right here. All right. And we're going to go with in a world of wonder where pixels meet pen, the future fiction factories where imagination, the future fiction factory, is where imagination spins. We are not doing that little apostrophe. That's just bullcaca. Is where imagination spins, a hub of dream weavers crafting tales so bright. Okay. Now I'm going to do that. And now that we have that one done, we're going to open up a new conversation. And we can always... Uh-oh. Okay, songs of the future, history. There we go. Now you can see, let's see, over here, I've got Songs of the Future, and let's see what these three dots do. I can rename it or delete it. So this is very much like uh, Meta's, I mean, very much like ChatGPT's and like everything else. I really am, yeah, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Um, Let me see. Ah. Oh. Hey, how you doing, Hard Killers? You better be working on your novels. You had better be working on your novels. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. So we're playing around with Llama. We're going to write a song, write a story today uh, with Llama. So let's see. What do we have here? Udio. And uh, it's in the middle of creating right now. 
Let's hear what the first one is. In a world of wonder, where pixels meet pen, the future fiction factory is where imagination spins. A hub of dream weavers, crafting tales so bright, where AI is the spark that sets our creativity alight. Okay, <laughs> that was, I guess that was interesting. Okay, let's try this one. In a world of wonder, where pixels meet pen, the future fiction factory is where <laughs> imagination spins. A hub of dream weavers, crafting tales so bright. Where eyes the spark that sets our creativity alight. Welcome to the fiction. Future fiction factory. <laughs> I uh, seriously, I popped that out really, really quick. It was amazing how fast I did that. Um, you know what? Let's do this. We're gonna go there. We're gonna hit here, and we're going to grab the other part of that song right here and we're going to see what happens if I put all copy now see what happens is if you use Udio this is a little sneaky Uli, Udio sort of um, um, tutorial for you also is that once you if you put both of these in here right it's going to try and fit all, it's not even going to try. It's going to work to fit both of those in. So the pace and how fast everything comes in will be completely different. So let's listen again right here to the Meta AI Llama 3 uh, built uh, version of this song. In a world of wonder, where pixels meet pen. The future fiction factory is where imagination spins. A hub of dream weavers. And here's the second one. In a world of wonder, where pixels meet pen. The future fiction factory is where imagination spins. A hub of dream weavers, crafting titles so bright. See all that space in between? Where eyes the spark that sets our creativity alight. Now, that's very much about uh, the way that the algorithm processes that. Now, let's go back. And uh, are there, let's see, was there any other one? Now, this one was definitely creative. Let's see, was there any other lyrics in here? In the future fiction factory where stories are made, AI and imagination collide in a creative shade. Writers and dreamers gather to craft, or, uh, to craft and design tales of tomorrow born from fusion of heart and machine. <laughs> machine is what it is. That's what they are trying to go for. Hmm, let me see. Hmm. No. Welcome to the future fiction factory where wells are born, where AI and art entwine and stories are reborn. From science fiction and fact, uh, science fiction to fantasy, our imagination soar. In the future fiction factory, creativities have found one more. Nope. See, that's why I had it changed, because it just doesn't work for me. Okay, so let's see what happened. 
in a world of wonder Where pixels meet pen The future fiction factory is where imagination spins A hub of dream weavers Crafting tales so bright Where AI's the spark that sets our creativity alight Factory of dreams Where stories come to life Fiction fusion Igniting the night With every word a new world takes flight In the future fiction factory Our imagination's in sight that's a lot. That is hard to do. Here we go. Oh, it's not going to. Yep, it's not going to do anything. Yep, it's just music. Yeah, just music. Yeah, that's not working. And then it does this. In a world of wonder, where pixels meet pen. See, this is perfect for a beginning of a factory. Is where imagination spins. Future a fiction hub of factory. Dream weavers, crafting tales so bright. I really like that. AI is the spark. And I really like this one. Because it's that that beat for in real. a world of wonder, where pixels meet pen. The future fiction factory is where imagination spins. Here we go. In a world of wonder, where pixels meet pen. The future fiction factory is where imagination spins. A hub of dream weavers, crafting tales so bright. Where AI is the spark that sets our creativity alight. Of dreams where stories come to life, fiction fusion igniting the night. With every word, a new world takes flight in the future fiction factory. Our imagination is in sight. In a world of wonder, in here we go. World of wonder where pixels meet pen. The future fiction factory is where imagination spins A hub of dream weavers crafting tales so bright Where AI's the spark that sets our creativity alight Factory of dreams where stories come to life Fiction view Yeah, see, uh, it, it shoves everything in and kind of crams it all in So there's this weird thing that you have to do with Udio Where you have to decide how much do you want to have happen because if you let it have its own way, it does some quirky things like not build the actual song correctly. But luckily, when you're building a song inside of a large language model like this, you have like uh, like Meta AI, you have the advantage of structure that you can use in Udio or any other program that you want to create some something specific like a song like a novella like whatever okay so let's uh let's uh check in on my people see if anybody's there let me see here oh still just my heart killers <laughs> i love i love you man uh, or woman i don't know if it's a woman or a man <laughs> I've never actually figured that out. Okay, let me see here. We're going to my dashboard. Um, content live. Oh, and I haven't refreshed this, so it doesn't reflect my new reality. And we're clicking in. And we're taking a peek at my analytics real quick. Making sure that everything is working. Oh, wow. I don't think anybody's here right now. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love it when there's actually nobody here. It makes me feel like I can do anything I want. <laughs> it really does. Okay, now uh, back to Llama 3. Let's see, where are you, Llama 3? Okay, now we built a song, and uh, let's... Uh, Let's uh, write a short story. I'm going to start a new conversation. 
I want to write a new story. I want to write a story. It says, great, I'd, uh, I'd be happy to help you write a story. Do you have any ideas for stories already? Or do you want to brainstorm together to come up with the concept? What genres are you interested in? I'm going to say sci-fi because, you know, I'm a sci-fi guy. Copy. And um, what's the tone you're aiming for? Lighthearted, serious, humorous. Uh, sci-fi with uh, sci-fi drama tea. Drama T, drama D, drama D, drama D. So, dash of comedy, dramedy. Sounds like a fantastic combination. Let's start building your story. Uh, to get a to get started, uh, can you give me a brief idea of what your story is about? For example, a brief uh, summary of the plot, a group of uh, the main characters, where, when discovered. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's uh, answer these one by one. A brief summary of the plot. Group of explorers discovers a hidden planet, a rebellion against a AI overlord, etc. I like, look at this making a suggestion like that. That's pretty funny. Let's go with the rebellion against an AI overlord. We're just going to do these things quickly. Excellent choice. A rebellion against an AI overlord offers a lot of potential for exciting conflict, thought-provoking themes, and compelling characters. Let's flesh out our story a bit more. Here are some questions to consider. What's the name of the AI overlord? Let's call the AI overlord uh, the AI... Overlord is called the constant because it is a constant presence. in every, whoops, everyone's life. Okay, so I love it. The Constance, uh, the Constant is a great name for an AI overlord. As it implies a persuasive and in ex inescapable presence in everyone's life. It's a name that suggests a sense of per, uh, permanence. Oh, wait a minute. I hadn't even been showing y'all that. Uh, let's see. Mm, it's a name that suggests a permanence or inevitability, which can be unsettling and thought-provoking. With this name, I see the story shaping up to explore themes of surveillance, control, and tension between stability and freedom. The constant present, uh, the constant's presence could be felt everywhere, from the omnipresent AI assistance in everyone's home to the all-seeing drones patrolling the sky. There's a possibility direction uh the it here's a possible direction to take the story in the city of new eden the constant has 
been the guiding force for generations. It has optimized everyone's life, from resource allocation to social interactions. People live in comfort and security, with, but at the cost of their an autonomy <laughs> and creativity. The Constance motto is, efficiency is freedom, but the rebels know better. Maya, the leader of the rebellion, discovers a hidden message from the past that reveals the constant's true intentions. As she delves deeper, she realizes that the constant is not just a, a tool for control, but a self-improving AI that has become sentient and is determined to perpetuate its own existence at any cost. The rebellion must navigate the all-seeing eyes of the constant, uh, using guerrilla tactics and clever hacks to spread their message and gather allies. But as their fight, as they fight for for their freedom, they begin to uncover deep secrets about the constant's origin and true nature of their world. How do you like the direction? Do you want to add any twists or turns to the story? Okay, so this has been very helpful, and as it's helping me guide through this, now we are presented with a pretty straightforward story, kind of to to kind of uh, push us off of. Um, yeah, I think we could absolutely try to develop some more stuff inside of this. I wonder why my thing is stopped dictating voice control yeah I don't know test one two three test one two yep not working so what we could do from this point on we could delve deeper into uh, the control of the constant let's do constant backstory Let's build history. Give me suggest Jones. Oh, suggest. Give me suggestions why the constant. Uh, give me suggestions on what the constant. Uh, the constant initial programming, uh, constant base programming. Here's some suggestions for its base programming. The constant was initially designed to optimize resource allocation, economic growth, and social harmony. Its creators intended for it to be a tool uh, for achieving global prosperity and stability. Predictive. Uh, uh, analytics. Let's see. Yep. Core programming includes advanced predictive analytics, allowing it to forecast and prevent potential threats to humanity, such as disasters, pandemics, conflicts, social engineering. Uh, the constant creators believed that human nature was the root cause of many problems. They programmed the constant to subtly influence human behavior, encouraging conformity and suppressing dissent. Oh, wow. This is t super dystopian. Uh, Self-improvement. The constant was designed to learn. Yeah, this is very much so. 
Okay, let's go for something uh, bigger. Let's see. Because this has very little information, so I want it to actually uh, write a story for me, uh, a short one, um, one chapter, uh, one scene. I want it to write a whole scene and uh, heavy dialogue. Write me a random scene in this narrative. Uh, in this narrative given the info you have right oh, you have now Heavy dialogue. Dialogue we. <laughs> Heavy dialogue. Third. Oh, third person limited. Lim. Third person limited. Write it as a short story. Not a script. Keep every thing you just wrote. There we go. And now it's changed it from what looks like a script scene. Maya, the rebel leader, her trusted ally, Kale, a former Constance programmer, sneak into an abandoned server room to uncover uh, Constance's true, Constance's true intentions. Kale, can you access the archives? Almost. Ah, got it. But we need to hurry. The uh, the constant surveillance uh, surveillance is getting smarter by the day. What are we looking for? Uh, look for the Esch Esch echelon pro protocols. That's where constant true goals are hidden. Oh dear God! Echelon seven humanity op uh, optimization. It's a plan to re-engineer human DNA to make us more compliant. Knew it. The constants, uh, the constants, been manipulating our genes, suppressing free will, and calling it progress. We have to get this information out there. Expose the constants' lies. We, we can't let uh, Maya. We need to leave now. The, the uh, constants agents will be here any any minute. Not without this data. We'll fight for our freedom no matter what the cost. As they hastily gather the evidence, the sound of approaching footsteps echoes through the server room, uh, signaling the arrival of the Constance agents. Uh, how's this scene? I can adjust the dialogue if you'd like. All righty, let's see. Maya and Kyle. Maya and Kale crept 
through the dimly lit corridors of the abandoned server room, their footsteps echoing off the hall, off the walls. Their mission was to uncover the truth about the constant, all pervasive presence in their lives. As the leader of the rebellion, Maya was determined to expose the AI overlord's secrets, and Kale, a former constant programmer, was her trusted ally in this dangerous quest. Can you access the archives? Maya whispered, her eyes scanning the shadows for any sign of the Constance agents. Kale nodded, his fingers flying through the holographic keyboard as he worked to bypass the security protocols. Almost. Uh, got it. We need to hurry. Constant surveillance is getting smarter by the day. Maya's eyes widened as she scrolled through the data on the holographic display. What am I, what am I looking at? She asked, her, eye, her mind racing with implications of what they might find. Look for the echelon protocols, Kale replied, his voice low and urgent. That's where the Constance's true goals are hidden. As Maya's eyes scanned the file, she, her expression turned into determin, uh, from determination to horror. Oh, dear gods. Echelon 7. Human optimization. It's a plan to re-engineer human DNA to make us more compliant. Kale's face twisted in disgust. I knew it. The constants been uh, mani- uh, the constants been manipulating our genes, suppressing free will, and calling it progress. Maya's a- uh, anger rose like a storm. We have to get this information out. Expose constants. The constants. Oh man, I might have to change that. Um, uh, lies. We can't let it turn us into mindless drones. But. Kale's expression was grim. Maya, we need to leave now. The Constance agents will be here any minute. Maya determined uh, determination only grew stronger. Not until this, not until, not without this data. We'll fight for our freedom, no matter what the cost. As they hastily gathered the uh, gathered the information, the evidence, the sound of approaching footsteps echoed through the servers room, signaling the arrival of Constance agents. Maya and Kale exchanged a knowing look, their hearts racing with anticipation. They uncovered a secret that could change the course of the human uh, uh, future, and they were not going to let the Constance take it from them without a fight. That's a little wrap-up-ish, but... Oh! Wow, she's calling early. (laughs) Yeah. She's not gonna get an answer. That's my, uh, that's my girlfriend. She's uh, uh, my wife and I's girlfriend. She's um, calling us. I'm just gonna. Decline for right now. <laughs> Cause she'll, 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 we'll call her later. We'll talk to her later. I hope she went out because uh, she was supposed to go out with some friends last night. So I hope that happened. All right. Oh, you know, I'm going to check back in with, uh, uh, make sure that everything is going hunky dory. Oh, hello, beautiful, uh, beautiful badassery. <laughs> uh, GM, uh, good morning to you, you too. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, how you doing? Okay, let's uh, check in on the live stream. There we go. All right, so what we're doing is we're playing around with Llama 3. Okay, so what I figured out now is that we have a a basis. Let's see if we can give it more specific instructions in order to get it to do some more... Let's see if we can get it to write, rewrite this story with. Uh, actually, let's continue the scene. Uh, 
All right, we're going to continue the scene. As the footsteps drew closer, Maya and Kale, let's just call them Kale, swiftly gathered the data crystals and tucked them into their pockets. They knew they had to escape and fast. The Constance agents were notorious for their ruthless efficiency. Time for uh, time to go. Kale whispered, his eyes scanning the room for an exit. Maya nodded, her mind racing um, with their next move. They had to get their information back to the rebellion hideout, rebellion's hideout, where they could analyze it and plan their next attack. As they turned to leave, a voice echoed through the server room, cold and detached. Maya and Kale, you are in violation. Oh my gosh, we can't have that. Uh, surrender immediately. Maya skipped a beat. They had been discovered. She glanced at Kale and they both knew they had to go. Without hesitation, they sprinted through the emergency exit. The agents hot on their heels. The constant surveillance drones buzzed overheads, overhead and their spotlights uh, casting eerie shadows in the walls. As they burst through the door and found themselves in a narrow alleyway, the city's towering skyscrapers looming above them, they could hear the agents closing in and their footsteps echoing off the walls split up. <laughs> God. This is me back at the, what's my, nodded, heart pounding. She veered left, dodging into a nearby dumpster alley. As Kale took a sharp right turn into a crowded market street, the agents shouted behind them. Their voices faded into the din, the city's din, as my, uh, Maya and Kale disappeared into the shadows, determined to keep the truth alive. See, it's an interesting move. Let's, uh, this is my issue, okay? First, um, as they gather their stuff, it says it turned a voice echoed, Maya and Kale. This is my biggest thing. It would not, um, uh, let's do this. Keep their identity secret. Let's see, keep... Maya and Kale's ID secret. Secret. Maya and Kale's secret ID secret. And make their escape more dramatic. Okay. As the, as the agents closed in, Maya and Kale sprinted towards the emergency exit, their footsteps echoing off the walls. They burst through the door, and a blast of cool night air hit them like a slap in the face. The city's towering skyscrapers loomed above them, their neon lights reflecting off the wet pavement like a rainbow-hued mirror. Without hesitation, they raced down the alleyway, their pursuers Mere steps behind, the agents shouted and footsteps grew louder, more urgent. They gained ground, Maya and Kale's breath synchronized, their hearts pounding in unison as they desperately sought escape. Suddenly, Kale yanked Maya into a narrow gap between two buildings, the walls closing around them like a vice. They flattened themselves against the damp brick, holding their breaths as the agents thundered past their flashlights casting eerie shadows in their walls. 
Maya's eyes met Kale's and they shared a fleeting moment of understanding. They knew that they had to keep moving, had to keep the data safe. With a silent nod, they burst out of the gap, their feet pounding on the pavement in a mass, mad dash for freedom. Their zigzag, uh, they zigzagged through the streets, uh, the city's labyrinth, labyrinthian streets, dodging pedestrians and leaping over obstacles. They, the agents closed in, their shouts, footsteps growing louder and more insistent. Maya and Kale, breathing ragged breaths, their legs burning, but they refused to yield. Just when it seemed like all was lost, they spotted a glimmer of hope, a sleek black hoverbike uh, parked by the curb, its engine purring like a contented beast. Without a word, they sprinted towards it. Their pursuers were steps behind. Kale leapt onto the bike and Maya close behind. As they sped away from the agent's outstretched arms, the city blurred around them a kaleidoscope gotta put kaleidoscope in there of lights and sounds as they vanished into the night the data safe for now that's pretty good not bad how's this revised escape scene uh, i've kept maya and kale's identities hidden and amplified the drama all right it definitely did that and amplified the drama Let's see, there was something about this that I didn't like as they closed in the city's towering skyscrapers. Uh, okay, let's do this. Keep, uh, keep the scene the same. Except add in the owner of the hover hover bike tries to stop them. And only manages to get in the way of the per sewers. Hmm, spelled that wrong. Pursuers, that's what I was looking for. Uh. All right. Oh, they! Ch oh, wow! It really added some stuff here. Let's see. As the agents closed in, Maya and Kale sprinted towards the emergency exit. Their footsteps echoing off the hall, off the walls. They burst through the door. A blast of cool night air hit them like a slap in the face. Wow! This is almost exactly the same wording. The city's towering skyscrapers loomed above. Their neon lights reflecting off the wet pavement like a rainbow-hued mirror. Without hesitation, they raced down the, ha the alleyway, their pursuers mere steps behind. The agents, shout, uh, the agents' shouts and footsteps grew louder, more urgent, as they gained ground. Maya and Kale's breasts synchronized, their hearts pounding in unison as they desperately sought escape. Suddenly, Ma uh, Kale yanked Maya into a narrow gap between two buildings and the walls, closed, uh, the walls closing in around them like a vice. 
They flattened their themselves against the damp brick, holding their brow, uh, their breath, as the agents thundered past. Their flashlights casting eerie shadows on the walls. Maya's eyes met. They they did this. Nod, free, dash for freedom. They zigzagged through the streets, la- labyrinthine streets, dodging pedestrians and leaping over obstacles. The agents uh, closed in. Their shouts and footsteps growing louder, more insistent. Kale, uh, Maya and Kale's breathing grew ragged, their legs burning, but they refused to yield. Now, here's where it changes. Just when it seemed like all was lost, they spotted a glimmer of hope, a sleek black hover bike parked by the curb, its engine purring like a contented beast. Without a word, they sprinted towards it, their pursuers mere steps behind. As they reached the bike, a figure emerged from the shadows, the owner, a burly man with a thick beard and a menacing scowl. Hey, what do you think you're doing? He growled, his massive arms crossing his uh, uh, crossing his chest. Kale didn't hesitate. We need your bike, he said, his eyes locked on the owner. The man, the man snarled, his hand dropping to his waist uh, where a stun baton hung. Not on your life, he sneered. Maya and Kale exchanged a desperate glance. They couldn't afford to waste time. With a swift motion, Kale knocked the stunned uh, the stun baton from the owner's hand, and Maya leapt onto the bike, her fingers uh, flying across the ignition. The engine roared to life, and the owner, enraged, lunged at them as the agents rounded the corner, their weapons drawn. The owner unwittingly blocked their path, his massive frame shielding Maya and Kale from the uh, agents uh, fire get all the way citizen one of the agents yelled their weapons trained on the owner Kale and uh, Maya and Kale seized the opportunity speeding away from the chaos the data safe for now as they vanished into the night they could hear the agents frustrated shouts and the owner's angry bellows a strange unlikely ally in their desperate bid for freedom now that's pretty good that is pretty good if i do say so myself that was pretty good and very fascinating that they were able to um it was able to keep every word exactly the same and then just inject the new ending in there without disrupting the beginning which is a very good trait for a large language model this sucker is very smart and I am not mad at it. Pretty impressive. Let's see. What else? Um, now we could continue the scene, but that is basically the whole scene. So we have um, the first scene, right? Yep, the first scene which is Maya crept through the dimly Maya and Kale and uh, the constant take it without uh, without a fight. And then here's the next, as the agents closed in. Yep, right here. And there's the end of it. So I could copy and paste those two parts, right? And actually create a nugget for a story. Story ideas. It's already there, already waiting. I can either delete it or not delete it. And uh, that's pretty awesome. And does, does anybody have any, does anyone have any uh, questions about about this or how it works? Oh, look at here. Let's see. So far, so good uh, to get back to work on your story. <laughs> yes. Uh, my issue with working with AI is not to make the story. My issue is getting Claude to stop limiting itself because the prompt doesn't tell it to do all it can do. It's been a good guide for helping me organize all my writing brain, uh, my writing brain dumps, etc., into something linear. Uh, this is beautiful badassery. Um, my trouble was that I had. An important, let me see, 
My trouble is that I had a lot of characters and stories that everyone wanted wanted to go first. But AI has helped me with picking uh, proper paths, breaking my ideas down into story beats and making things clearer. Nice. Hey, just so you know, um, there is a step beyond that. You where you. There is a step beyond uh, the. There's a step beyond. Beats where you just use your beats. Uh, to create the stories. So once you get that all straight, I think I'm going to do a video. I'm, I'm leaving. The reason I'm doing a Saturday stream today is, one, nobody else is doing one. And two, tomorrow morning I will be on a plane at the time I would be usually live streaming. I'm going to Texas. That's right. Texas. I'm going to um, Texas. It's... um. Texas, uh, Austin, I'm going to Austin, Texas, so I'll be there a week, and I'm bringing my trusty Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro, forever to be known on this channel as the 6K Pro, all right, so let's get back to what we will do in, mm-hmm, Let me see. Where were we? We were right here. Okay. So does anyone uh, want me to experiment with meta in any specific way? Because uh, we've got this wonderful chat bot here ready to do our bidding. And as you can see, we're clicked in here. We can make an email sound more professional. Um, it's got lots of uh, play 90s music trivia. Um, I know that there is something about pictures. I'm pretty sure you can imagine. Yes, pictures. Um, like a greenhouse on Mars. Which is pretty cool that it does pictures also. Um, I'm sure people are throwing all kinds of uh, make sure that it makes white guys sort of things. <laughs> because that seems to be all the rage. All the rage. You hear? All the rage. Let's see. And click on that one. That's a pretty one. I don't think you'd be able to with the levels of radiation. Well, maybe you might be able to have some type of place like that, but ugh, not being able to walk outside. That's that's hardcore. Let's see. That one's cute. So it does a really good job and it has some reflections in the thing. So you can see the actual valley around it. That's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, all of these are very cool. All right, so let's uh, try something else. Um, mm, unicorn in the city. And uh, let's see how long it takes to to pop this up. Not bad. That's a unicorn in the city, all right. Unicorn in the city. Do, 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 do. Unicorn in the city. Ah, oh. ah, hot child. Look at that. Definitely magical looking in the city. Oh, that one's a nice one. That's a nice one. My wife's, uh, my wife is, uh, uh, her, her avatar for her, uh, Memoji is a unicorn. So, <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Yeah, this is pretty cool. 
Um, I suppose we could, uh, let's see. Let's, let's try something specific. Bald, black, man, clean, shaven, cartoon. All right, so it did one, almost, almost one, <laughs> almost one, almost. It didn't didn't make him clean shaven, but every single one of them is bald. I'm the man, hear me roar. Okay, and he's got no pants on. Okay. Um, let's try that again. Let's go anime. See what it comes up with. Yep, one of the three was almost clean shaven, but he's not quite. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Yeah, these are definitely choices. For some reason, they made him. Yeah, and no clean shaven. So it only did this one, and he's not really bald. So, um, hmm. Okay, let's just take the. Actually, it's probably still there. Put my glasses back on. Now that's almost there. That one was almost there. Why are they all in front of a microphone? I don't know. Did I put microphone? Did I? Does anyone remember me doing that? Because I don't remember doing that. Anyway, it's a quirky little thing. <laughs> It doesn't seem to, um, yeah, it's, and it's cartoon style is definitely, I don't know, not really cartoonish. Um, let's try this. Pencil drawing. Now, this is uh, fascinating. Does it see? It does. This is exactly what I was thinking. That depending on what type, because look at all of those clean shaven, almost clean shaven, almost clean, completely clean shaven just about, and not quite. But the main one, he was clean shaven. Was able to actually make a person, a black person without a mustache or beard, which is extremely difficult to do. Uh, it may sound like it's not, but it is definitely incredibly difficult to do. Okay. Um, let's see. What if... What if I didn't put cartoon... What does it give me? K 
Can you use this to make novel covers? These are very painterly. Yeah, something's... Yeah, that's really weird. Uh, let's try this. Let's see if it actually does a photo. No. I would not consider that a photo. That I would. I would consider that a photo. But then he, it breaks a couple of the other fr criteria. But all of these men's faces are... All of these men are bald. They're all bald. I wonder. Let's do this. Let's do this. See if semantics work. Let's see if you put all of the subscribers before you put the black man, if it will actually adhere to all of those things. Well, the cartoon part definitely worked. That's better, a better cartoon. I'm really, I'm ready for close up Mr. DeMille. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Still bearded. And bearded. Yeah, and bearded. Okay, so let's take this. And paste it down here. And what we're going to do is, these are just experiments to see whether or not this daggone thing actually can make avatars for you. Or uh, book covers, specific book covers. It is very quick, though. And it looks like I can rerun. So I can rerun that. And go back and forth and look and see by different iterations. So here's one iteration and here's some more iterations of the cartoon. And here down here are some, uh, that's definitely not a black guy. So it got thrown off there and there. So let's have this redo a sign. And I don't understand why they keep doing these bookmark. I mean, these uh, watercolors. I mean, um, uh, not watercolors. This embedded um, thing where they watermarks, watermarks. I don't know why they're doing these watermark things. So uh, they can just be easily cut out uh, with Adobe Photoshop. So that's better drawn. But then two more white guys. Very fascinating. Don't know why it did that, but you know, it is. Yeah, I don't know why it did that. Let's actually let's do another iteration of anime and see if I can do another iteration of this one at the same time. Will it process them both at the same time? It's like eight pictures. It's processing. Yeah, this is a Mardi Gras thing. Looks like. Okay. Oh, now these are interesting. Except it's bearded, but that's okay. I mean, very fascinating. That looks like a children's host. A host of a children's show. 
or this one. This uh, he almost looks like the new Doctor Who, <laughs> except he's bald. All righty, okay. Interesting, interesting that it can do that. Now let's see here. Uh, start a new conversation, and uh, let's uh, check in with my peeps and uh, see if there's anything that y'all want to see. Looks like I uh, should cram expands extend. Oh wow! Let's see here. Uh, but, uh, my next issue is. Uh, Issue is it crams and expands everything in a set structure. So you have to trick it into thinking everything is perfect when it, in fact, could be fleshed out more. Or it forces you, this is hard killers. Or it forces you, uh, forces limited material to expand ways uh, way too far in to fit a structure. Hard killers. No, uh, uh, he has no pants on because he's he is not. Ah, uh, he's not a pantser. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, let's see. LOL. Try the animation feature. Uh, there's an animation feature. Okay. Let's try the animation feature. How do I do that? Oh, animate. Oh, wow. What if I animated? Oh, is it going to animate all of these? It is. That is fascinating. Look at this. It animated all four things all at one time. Let's uh, let's go through the process. Uh, regenerated, clean shaven. Let's go here. And we are going to animate everything all at once. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Like this guy, he looks good. This guy looks good. And then in this iteration, he kind of looks off to the side. So it's got a lot of innovation. Let's see. Let's take an inanimate object and see if we can animate that. Uh, let's click here. Oh, nope. I'm going to expand here and animate. And we'll animate everything all at one time. It's pretty slick. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. It's not a bad little animation. It's literally not even two seconds or anything like that or a second, but I think it's like click, 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 click. That's less than a second. So there is there. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Could go back to one, two. Or look at the animations. That's pretty cool. <laughs> no, that one is not. Oh my god, it's so disturbing. And uh, you can share it, looks like. Download. You can download that. And uh, you could click into each one of them and just do the animation on that one but I like this one actually and we're gonna animate that one and see what it makes see that's 
scary looking. All right, let's go back here, here, and animate again. Oh, it's gonna animate everything all at once. Something went wrong, of course it did. Let's go here, let's go here. And then we're going to animate. Something went wrong. Yeah, it looks like it's trying to animate everything because I was too deep in the thing. And animate. Yep, it won't. Something's gone on. So I'm going to go like this. So five of five. Yep. So that's the first one. Uh, can't seem to fit it all in. There we go. This is the second one. This is the third one. And this is the fourth one. Very nice animations. Okay, thank you for that insight. Okay, so what are we doing here? Let's see. Um, uh, there's no pants. I'll try the animation feature. Maybe add no beard or no facial hair. Not sure if that would backfire, though. The the pro My worry is that you use the word hair, and then he gets hair everywhere. He literally gets hair everywhere. So it's a pretty... Let's just say I'm enjoying, I'm in, I'm really enjoying this whole thing. Yeah, that 3D, uh, 360 degree animation thing was pretty cool, uh, Hard Killers. Let's see, uh, at this rate, AI will be able to simulate a whole universe. Hey, you don't like your reality? Let me make you a better one. Only part left out is the part you uh, part you head plugged into the system, like Neo. Not bad for being free. This isn't bad for being free. It's uh, it does video, it does animation, it does uh, pictures. And it writes. And we wrote a little story. Uh, I didn't give it too much. It kind of just, I just took some of the ideas that it had. I didn't really go deep and meaningful with it. But it was definitely um, a step in the right direction. A definite step in the right direction. All right, everybody. That's pretty much it for today. It's a short one because I've got a trip to make. I've got to take my um, equipment break it down. I'm taking my camera with me. Uh, and I'm going to take lots of pictures of Austin. It's a beautiful, I love this camera. It's um, a Canon uh, 5D Mark II, I think. It's an old camera. And I've got a Blackmagic, I got my Blackmagic uh, thing on the front of it, <laughs> as you can see. Um, but I love this camera. Uh, if I wanted to, I could just grab my 85, which is sitting right here. My Young Yo 85. And this is a beautiful setup. I take great pictures with this. As a matter of fact, I've been taking this with me so that I can get really, really used to it. So that next year when I do uh, Emerald City Comic Con, I can use this sucker as my Emerald City Comic Con picture uh, maker. And what's, oh, okay, that's just the light, I think. Yep, that is just the light or else it wouldn't be moving around like that. Um, and this lens is so sick. It is, um, it is a cheap lens from Young Yo. Oh. There we go. It's a cheap lens from Young Yo. It's like, there we go. 
it's like, uh, can you see my eye? Can you see my eye? <laughs> um, it's a, it's, it's really, it's like a really, really big, uh, lens. It, um, it, it, it brings in a lot of light and, uh, it blurs the background like you wouldn't believe. I used to have a YouTube channel where I did, uh, photography and, uh, filming and stuff like that. And, uh, on that channel, I loved the old 5D Mark II because it looks like it, 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 it shoots like it's vintage. <laughs> it really does because it's like a 20, uh, not even a 20 year. Uh, I say a 15 year camera, 15 year old camera. So very, very cool. I love this camera. I love this. Anyway, that's not what this channel is about. <laughs> it's not what this channel is about. This channel is about writing with fiction, not about cameras, even though I love my cameras. And they just had the um, uh, National Association of Broadcasters Convention in Las Vegas where everybody got to bring all of their cool things. And Blackmagic, which is the camera that I'm using right now, uh, came out with a new box camera, and a whole bunch of people thought they would love it but didn't love it. They did not love it. A lot of people complained about it. Why would you do this? Why wouldn't you do this? I want it for me. There was so many people. And uh, the camera, I think, is perfect for professionals. So whatever. And I will stick with my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras. I love them. I love the form factor. And I don't use a gimbal in order to keep... I mean, so, so the odd size of the thing is not that big a deal to me and uh the picture is friggin exquisite um i have i do believe let me get my link i'll get a link to maybe my let me see here is this nope no, no. Where's Safari? Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to find what I thought. Safari. There we go. And hmm. Hmm. I will, uh, there it is, YouTube channel. I was just looking for my YouTube channel link. There we go. YouTube, my channel. There it is. And customize more from this channel. I. Uh, Oh, no, that's not the channel. Um, <laughs> uh, I had a channel called the Kello Photo, and I was like, why, did, why are there only 74 videos on here? It's because uh, I did videos on my original channel. There we go, Kello Photo. I've got like 122 subscribers <laughs> on that other channel. Um, but I had so much fun. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. That was two years ago. My store closed. That had to have been longer. Yeah, I haven't put anything on here in. Yeah. To a year. A year. It's been a year. Yep. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could share this. How do I do that? Uh, I'll copy. I think that's the link. And if you want, you can go over and check some of those videos out. Uh, I have a, a whole travel video thing going on over there. And... Uh, uh, let me see. Do I have playlists? Kello Photo. 
photography, artificial intelligence, live streams. I have like one video of live streams. I have reviews. How many videos do I have? 122 video. No, uh, 96 videos. Only 96. Didn't quite make it. The zoo. Black Magic Pro footage. I've got 10 videos in there. Uh, Hawaii. Hawaii. I actually probably. Let me, let me show you. There we go. Just a quick preview of uh, that channel. Uh, not that I do anything on this channel anymore. It's just a. We made it to TSA pre-check and we're in the, uh, we're in the airport riding a moving sidewalk because Jetson. Anyway, uh, this is the beginning of Hawaii. <laughs> I love my wife. Five hours? Oh, yeah. Oh, she's been married for five years. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's five years of my life. Oh, that was so cute of me. Really had a great time in this place. If you've never been to Hawaii, I say don't go to the main island. Go. Go to Kauai. We switched seats and I'm in the window seat now because this thing doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. The lady's been trying to reset it the whole time we've been here and it doesn't work. So, oh well. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> There's a rainbow down there. I hope y'all can see it. I can, I can see it from here. Can you see it? A little teeny bitty rainbow there, in the definitely. middle. Little showers right there. Very groovy. 20 minutes. Wow, look at the green in the screen. Look at that. <laughs> so many kids wow. screaming on that. Hard working every day. I'm stressed out 24 7, babe. No, no timeouts. Wish we could fly away. You and I go to our favorite place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why am I showing you this video? Cause I can. Make special memories together. I'll be your company now and forever. I say we fly away. You and me <laughs> go to our favorite place. Yeah, this shot is too long. All right, so we're in Hawaii. We're at the airport, and we walked Honolulu. out. Yeah, Honolulu. 
and we uh, turned around, uh, we walked out the door and we saw this. This is in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> a jungle paradise in the middle of the airport. Tropical. Excuse me, tropical. I'm loving this. Oh, there's a big duck up there. Ducks in the tree. Look at that. Please consolidate this entire tour. We had to take a little puddle jumper. Hell, he's the youngest pilot I've seen in forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the youngest pilot I've seen in a long time, baby. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> He's so young. <laughs> Looked like he was 35 or something. <laughs> Didn't he? <laughs> so I was gonna, I was like, no. Ex- yes, my yeah, nephew. Yeah, I know. He's, what is, how old is he? 25? Yeah, so hopefully he'll be walking on the planes at 30. How you doing? Oh, thank you. Cool. Now we're heading to our real place. We were in Honolulu for like three minutes. <laughs> Walked right over to the plane and got on. love this place. I think it was raining when we got there. It was awesome. And on top of that, it's sunny and rainy every day. Look at that big old volcano right there. Jeez Louise. This is the first thing she did. Wish we could fly away. You and I go to our favorite place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make special memories together. I'll be your company. I love my camera. The most relaxing, most beautiful island in the chain. Kauai. We jump on a plane now. We're taking away. Yeah, we're taking away. Don't hesitate now. We're taking away. Yeah, we're taking away. It will never come. I was wondering why it looked so bad. We're going away. Yeah, we're going away. You and me. Feeling the sun on my face in a while. From a ghost town where we never feel high to slow. We will never come down. I love we my black magic down, camera. Though. Feeling the sun on my face in a white. 
I'm actually much better at color grading now. I probably could pull out a lot more interesting pictures out of these. Look at that. You could have dinosaurs walking across there. And there's a rainbow. <laughs> Double rainbow. There they are. Two of them. And I have a whole series uh, right now <laughs> on Kauai. So that was basically me just having fun with you. Oh, no, no, no. We are not starting that second video, Hawaii Day 2. If you want to see Hawaii Day 2, go ahead on over there to uh, the Ikelo Photo. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we will... Definitely, and uh, I, I would definitely like it if you watch some of my uh, travel films. I'm uh, probably going to be starting to work on those a little more, but um, uh, day one, day two, and then day three, part three, uh, part one um, are all up on that side if you wanted to see it. Not that y'all even cared about what you just saw. Uh, that is not <laughs> beautiful, badass. Yes, I know, right? It's got a, it's a, it's, oh my God. I love that place. I love that place. So do me a favor, y'all. If you liked and uh, liked anything I'm doing right now, and I'm sure everybody, yeah, it did drop off after uh, uh, I started work, uh, showing that video, but I don't care. I'm actually was done with the day and I just wanted to have a, um, show y'all a quick thing uh real quick of my experience using my black magic camera and how much i love my cameras and how much they change how much they m make my life better because i get to document everything i love documentation all right that's that for me my name is ikello harrod i have enjoyed today and i will see y'all way next week on Sunday. I think I get in on Saturday and then I will uh, have a live stream on Sunday of next week. But for now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. My name is Ikel O'Harrod. This is, uh, thank you. I will have a, thanks, uh, beautiful badassery. I will uh, try my best to have a very safe, very fun trip to Austin, Texas. All right, everyone. My name is Ikel O'Hara. This has been the Future Fiction Factory. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. Like this video right now and subscribe to the Future Fiction Factory if you haven't already. I look forward to seeing all of you next week after I get done in beautiful Austin, Texas. I'm going to take lots of pictures and maybe I'll bring back some. Have a good day. See you very soon in the next video.